Hello everyone, my name is Nuan Vaidinata. I'm a senior researcher with LearnAsia and as the co-author I will be presenting the SANA alerting software for real-time biosurveillance in India and Sri Lanka. This is a multi-partner project undertaken by the Rural Technology and Business Incubator in India, Carnegie Mellon University's Auton Lab in USA, University of Alberta, Lanka Jatika Sarvo, the Ashramadana Society, National Center for Biological Sciences, Respia Sahana Company, and the International Development Research Center through which a grant was provided by them to carry out this research. The high-level system diagram shows the RTBP design where health workers currently record uh, patient clinical information on paper which is then digitized by the mobile phone M Health survey introduced through the project uh, once the policies are in place we can skip this and uh, directly digitize them with avoiding the paper the demographic disease symptom and location information pertaining to a patient's health record is uh, transmitted to a database whereby epidemiologists can analyze this data to find any unusual patterns using the T-Cube web interface developed by Carnegie Mellon University and it is a visualization and a statistical estimation tool. When an event is detected it is uh, and verified then we use the Sahana alerting uh, module for transmitting the uh, situational awareness or alert reports to back to the health workers through the GSM network onto mobile phones in the form of SMS, email, and text. In this paper, we discuss the downstream component of the communication segment or the third um, technology component. Prior to starting the project, uh, we had conducted a survey for about 10 months where we involved uh, health workers and they were asked to record any events they would have, um, any health events uh, of particular outbreaks they would have uh, and come to learn about and how they learned about it. And it's predominantly through the media and the media only reports when, it, uh, um, when there are several deaths or it's a very uh, extreme situation. But they do not receive any uh, otherwise uh, any formal way of uh, receiving um, out outbreak or escalating uh, disease case information. Uh, another source is through their peers, and also we find word of mouth being another popular method. And unfortunately, the governments do not have a formal method for sharing risk information with health workers. We adopted uh, the common alerting protocol. It's a XML based um, global standard that uh, is uh, recommended by the Interna International Telecommunications Union, uh, incubated by the World Wide Web Consortium and managed by the OASIS group. Uh, the, the design comprises uh, the header alert segment uh, which could have multiple info segments and then each info segment can have multiple resource and area segments. Uh, the uh, tags or the fields in bold are um, qualifying elements and also mandatory elements but uh, the implementers can decide which other values they want to make mandatory based on their um, requirements and this example shows how a profile is created for Sri Lanka where you have a single alert segment and three info segments which carry the information in the different languages Tamil, Sinhala and English and each of these would have their own resource and area segments. The Sahana broker alerting broker system consists of five uh, subsystems. The message creation is done manually or it could be an automated process then validated through the CAP version 1.1 1 
and the emergency data exchange language or edXL version 1.0. The message created then can be either uh, can be disseminated directly to the uh, end recipients or it could be a cascade uh, distribution where you would once the this system would uh, transmit it to another system such as the health department sharing the information with the airport uh, airport authorities who in turn would have their own um, uh, list of recipients which they would just redistribute it to and this is managed through the organizational um, resource manager uh, which has the access uh, layer controls and then uh, also the rules the message is can be transmitted as a full cap uh, text message containing all the uh, pieces of information or a shorter version for sending over SMS because the limitation of the character uh, of a SMS page and also in term uh, as voice when the message is received it should be acknowledged by the human being uh, not by the device to ensure the human being received the message and this is managed by the acknowledgement subsystem which acts as a feedback loop uh, for any contingency uh, or to uh, compensate for messages not received and can be retransmitted through other channels to ensure the recipient gets the message. The GUI is um, it's very simple. You just enter a few values into the uh, given attributes, um, and then we see the tabs uh, demarcate the different the, the area information resource and um, uh, segments of the uh, cap alert. Once the message is uh, created, you would select your groups of recipients, uh, or you can manually enter each one of them individually if you have any uh, alterations, and then de decide which channels you want to send the message through, and then transmit it. So the single entry of the message is transmitted over multiple channels to multiple users. The transformation is the XML file is stored, and then it is picked up by each of the subroutines for SMS, email, web, and we use a style sheet and uh, some subroutines to conform them into uh, SMS, email, and web RSS feeds as well as voice. This is a typical um, structure of a style sheet where you have the XML tags inserted and then you can add in your own text, uh, the fixed text and which would typically um, produce a message of this sort where the values in orange are the, the variable text that you enter into the GUI and the blue is uh, the fixed values. We conducted a, uh, we evaluated this system uh, with the users. Uh, one was to find out how the efficiency and how quickly they could create a message and we found that they were quite weak in that only 50 percent were able to do that so uh, that's because we had all, uh, the, the GUI was opened up it was not customized for this particular uh, user group uh, so now that we have understood it we can uh, make those changes um, accurately entering the values they had uh, no problems with that a um, lot of them completed without any mistakes. Um, then in terms of correctly identifying the, uh, the recipients, about 55% of them were able to do that. Uh, some made some mistakes in terms of uh, identifying the correct recipient groups. Then the comprehension exercise, we issued several messages to uh, these health workers and had them um, assess the messages in terms of uh, how they could comprehend. Uh, they all had no issues with comprehending the message um, in both countries, uh, but the only issue we found was they could not identify the message identifier, which uniquely identifies that particular message. So we need to make some adjustments uh, to that. In conclusion, the Sahana broker is uh, can be adopted for sharing health in, uh, risk information. 
we, we should uh, expand beyond the text to voice. Um, this uh, we could not complete in this part of the project due to lack of resources. Uh, we found problems with uh, using your own uh, GSM modems. Uh, there are uh, unreliabilities and uh, then uh, compared to directly connecting with the service provider through the internet. But the only problem is that we did not have a feedback loop uh, when you connect directly to the service provider, which can, um, which is possible if you have your own GSM model. Uh, we need to also work on localizing um, and do some natural language translation uh, to speed up the uh, entry process and then inc um, incorporate the uh, edXL distribution element for audit trails and traceability of recipients. Um, we need to enhance the uh, organizational resource management uh, subsystem to make it more of a, a personalized or a MySabro kind of an approach uh, where users can uh, customize uh, the templates and the recipient list to their own liking. Uh, but before these electronic systems can be adapted, the policies must be reformed and also laws must be changed to remove the paper and replace it with electronic. Thank you. Uh, sorry I could not be here uh, to present this in person, um, but please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Thank you and all the best.